Hey guys, so today I am doing this tutorial for you all. Um, it was highly requested on my Instagram to recreate the succubus look that I did like about two years ago. Um, I don't even remember what I did it for. I think I just did it for fun. But um, I redid it, revamped it a little bit. Of course, I don't have the red hair anymore like I had in the original picture, which I'll put right here. And so I'm recreating this look. I wanted it to be a lot darker and, um, you know, just more, yeah, darker. Um, I added a fun black wig and I have little red horns that I got off of eBay. Um, I really hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. If you have any requests for upcoming Halloween tutorials, definitely let me know. Um, all products will be on my blog, so check it out, link below. All my social media will be below as well. Um, and enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a primer. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Um, this is the green one just to block out any redness that I may have on my face. I'm going to use my white face paint and this is the Wolf Face and Art Hydra Color and this is in the color 01 which is a white and I'm going to be activating it with water and then put it all over my face. Alright, so now that my skin is pale white, just a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone, um, I'm going to go ahead and prime the eyes. I did not put any of the face paint on my eyes just because we're going to be doing um, a smoky look on there and, you know, just, it's not necessary. Um, I did have to go a few times around my um, face with the... Uh, white face makeup just to help with a few patchy areas um, I would suggest going over it once letting it dry completely and then going over it again that way you're not lifting off product so I'm just using my Urban Decay primer potion and then for the main eyeshadow I'm going to be using Coven from Corpse Cosmetics it's a really pretty matte um, red. And here's what it looks like. That's definitely a more pink toned red. Um, but it's still really, really pretty. So I'm going to be using this and applying it all over my eyes and then blowing it out to kind of Round, you can either do like round shape or a curve shape, whatever your heart desires. Alright, so now that the red has been placed, if you do get some fallout, you can easily cover it with the white face paint because it is water soluble, so you have no problems there. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Mariposa palette, and I'm going to be taking the color Infamous and Rockstar, these two purple shades, and I'm going to be adding a little bit of depth into my top crease. And then I'm going to kind of smoke it out on the bottom to kind of have a dead look feel to it. You know. 
words. <laughs> so I'm going to mix both of them together on a fluffy brush and then just blend. You want to make sure you get the outer part and the very inner part so your eyes kind of look a little bulging. And I'm going to go ahead and add some liner on my top lash line and also on my waterline. Um, for the top lash line, I'm going to use my Oh My Lash Liquid Liner. And then for my lower lash line, I'm just going to be using I'm just going to be using my Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeliner. Just any black will do. And I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to keep it very, very close to the lash line. No wings. Not like that. Okay. And now for eyebrows, I'm going to be doing a very sharp, very angled, kind of angry looking eyebrow. I'm going to use the little bit of eyebrow that I have and just kind of extend it straight out. You can do any eyebrow shape. You can do the normal shape of your eyebrow. You can do some like crazy shapes, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to kind of do a strong angle. Alright, and the eyebrows are done. I wanted to keep everything really, really crisp, so I took a little Q-tip and a little bit more of the face paint and just kind of traced it like you would concealer over your brows and just kind of cleaned everything up because it was a little rocky at first and it didn't, yeah, things happened. So now I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to be using a medium gray color to contour my face um you can really use any kind of shadow you can use like the normal bronzer if you want red purple whatever um i'm just gonna use charcoal from my Lorac 2 pro palette and Now that the eyes and the face is all done, I'm going to move on to the lips and I'm going to be using three different products. I'm going to start off with the um, Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Pencil in Theodora and that's going to go on the very outer part. On the very inner portion, I'm going to use Makeup Revolution's Lipstick in 100% Vamp, which is a really dark kind of looks black but it's purple and then on top of everything I'm going to use this matte lip cream to kind of darken everything and give it a really cool look And now wig time. 
and that is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not and I'll be putting out more Halloween tutorials very soon bye